Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've been working on this little site here. We did a slider and a little blurb section here with some animated blurbs. Little call to action section. And yesterday we did this icon list, this sort of animated icon list. Today we're going to just do a bar counter section looks pretty good and of course it's animated if I just refresh and it's a nice little feature to have on your site so let's get started I'm gonna to go to a page that we left up left on yesterday I've got my visual builder enabled already you can tell when I move over things the little module icons pop up here's the little list we did yesterday so let's get started on our bar counters. We want to click on the little dark circle button there. And right there at the top, there it is, bar counters. By default, Divi comes with all these modules as standard, plus another 16 if you happen to have WooCommerce installed and are selling products. Just keeps getting better and better and so easy to use. If you want to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below. So I'm going to add the bar counter module, just left click. And there it is it's put it in there already and actually that looks pretty good on its own but we want to sort of make it our own so let's have a look what I said over here we said uh, projects completed 78% so let's just go in here and we'll say projects completed and 78% there we go and as you can see it's slid on up to 78% now if you want that to link to something it's like any other module you can just put a URL in there and when anybody clicks on this particular bar it'll take them to wherever you want want them to go so let's pop over to our design tab and just make this our own bar background color We'll leave that as blue, fantastic. Title text, I'm going to use the font we've been using, which is the Roboto Condensed. By default, Divi comes with a huge amount of fonts to play with. This one's going to work for me. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. I think I capitalized it on the last one. Yes, I did. I'm going to leave the default color. I'm going to make it bold. I'm going to make it capital. I'm going to pop it in the middle. I'm just going to make it a little bit larger and as with all these size you can either use a slider you can type in a value or when you hover over the box you can use the up and down arrows to make it whatever size you want I think that'll do fine letter spacing it's okay you could space it out a little bit if you wanted to but I'm just going to leave that as it is line height as well if you pop that it's going to push the bar down make a little bit of space below there so 1.7 if I was to bring it up as you can see it's pushing the bar down I want it fairly close I think I'll leave it sort of two something like that that's fine I don't want any text shadow as I said before on this smaller text it kind of makes it look blurry to me when you put that on you may decide you want it or if you have a different color text that may work for you percentage text I'm gonna leave that just as it is Sizing, spacing, I'm going to leave those as they are. Box shadow. I think I used a little bit of box shadow, not that one. That one, perhaps. Let's put this one back on and just take it down a little bit. Spread spread strength down there. I'm just going to take that down a little bit. So it's it's there, but not quite as... prominent there we go it's there but it's not quite as prominent shadow color don't need to change that at the moment I'm not going to use filters or transform I'm just going to save that first bar as it is just want to make a few changes I think I want to make that background color actually orange there now we're back in the main module now let's go up to design 
But actually, while we're here, we'll go through the content. Elements, if you wanted to do a number instead of a percentage, just click on Elements and you can turn that percentage off and on. Again, it's link, background, and an admin label, which names the actual module if you want to do that. Go to the Design tab, have a look at the bar counter. Now, bar background color is set to blue by default, which is fine. If you wanted to, you could hit the little arrow and have it change color on hover. But I think we'll leave that just as it is. Text title, text percentage text is absolutely fine. So let's go down, in the, again in the content, in the main element, let's go down to background. I'm going to make that orange. There we go. So that's the sort of free space. And like with other things, to um, continue on, all I'm going to do is clone that top one. What did we say? Research and development, 48%. Just change a few things around. Go into that second module. Change that to 48% or whatever it was. And rinse and repeat. I'll pause the video and I'll just do the next ones. Okay, so we're back. I've just uh, copied three more there. Now, I just want to add a bit of animation because at the moment, if I refresh, well, I've got the visual builder in. At the moment, I've got these animated. I want to animate this. I guess I'll have it coming in from the right hand side to the left and again when I hover over it a bit like we've done before I'll have it grow a little bit in size perhaps by 25% so let's go in module settings I'm going to go to design scroll down first one I've come across there is transform that's where I'm going to make it grow on hover I want to move my mouse up to where it says transform there, hover over, a little arrow will appear. I've already got it highlighted. Once you click on that, you'll have a desktop, which is a non-hover state, so the regular state. And I know it says desktop, but that applies to tablets and phones too. And a hover state. So when a mouse is hovering over it, you can do something else. Now I've got the little chain checked down there. So I it'll do both sides at once when I move one of these sliders. I want it to grow by about 25%. It's a little bit too big. Hover over the box, you can fine tune it with these little arrows. There we go, 25%. That's going to work fine for me. Now let's go down to animation. And I want it to pop in from the, well, let's actually go back to transform. I'm going to put it back on the desktop so it goes to normal size there we go back down to animation right underneath and we've been using slide so I'm going to continue the sort of slide theme I'm going to hit that and it's actually coming in that's actually where I want it you can decide whether you want it to go up down left right or, or just fade in from the center left is perfect that's exactly what I wanted now you can change the duration it's taking one second to do that animation at the moment a thousand milliseconds you can delay it uh, we did that with the one above so things load at different times if you wanted to intensity how intense it is if you pull that up all the way it just goes crazy Woomph. now where we've put it back where it was at 50 percent it sort of fades in a little more gently and that works for me but you can get some stunning effects by playing with these things so do play with them and see what you can get going start opacity zero basically it's going to be invisible and then it's going to fade in if you put it all the way up it'll be fully visible ease in ease out that means it's going to start off slow speed up in and then when it goes out it'll do the same thing we only want it to do once because if you put it to continue loop just going to keep doing that over and over again and I don't want that that will get a little tiring very quickly so I think we've got it there let's just save our changes go down to the purple button at the bottom save what we got 
Once that's saved, let's exit the Visual Builder. Let's scroll down and see what we've got. There we go. And I don't know if you caught that. It's sort of animating in. I'll just refresh that. There we go. Those are animating in from the left. These are animating up. And our bar counters that we've just created, as you can see, when you hover over, they're going to grow by 20, 25%. And when they came in, they animated from the right there. One more time. There we go. There you have it. Very easily done with the Divi theme. We've got a nice little services section. We could add a bit of text underneath, obviously explaining what your services are. I'll probably do that, but uh, that doesn't really warrant a video. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers, so do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.